Hello everyone, Moose Thorn here. In this video, I'm going over my Warped Sword build. <laughs> Depending on how many of my videos you've watched, you may have noticed I've already did a Warped Sword video. However, that was when I first got my Elgato. I didn't even, didn't even have a way to record my voice on it or anything. I didn't show the stats, so... I figured I gotta do a proper video for the Warped Sword, because it's such a cool, cool sword. Plus, it got a patch. Plus, Flynn's Ring. So, obviously the Warp Sword in the right hand. The left hand, I use the Berserker Blade. It's cool to have a Katana, because you get two options for running attacks and two options for rolling attacks. And you still get the Warp Sword move set. I have the third Dragon Ring, Ring of Blades plus two, Pointer Ring plus two and Flynn's Ring. Warp Sword with both Ring of Blades and Flynn's Ring can do a whole lot of damage really fast. My armor is a Dranglake Helm, Llewellyn Armor, Drake Keeper Gauntlets, and King's Armor plus 5. Let's get started with the PvP. This is a weapon everybody loves. The Smelter Hammer. It's even better when you have heals on smelting people. I never thought I would see this day. I don't know how I got out of power stance. <laughs> it's cool because if you do the rolling L1, you'll strike to the left. And if you do the rolling R1, you'll strike to the right. And if you're not paying attention, you'll get smashed by the smelter hammer. Watch out for that. Wow, 895 I think that was? Ah! Jeez, that thing hurts. Close match. And we're fighting a guy with Havel's Great Shield. Looks like Havel's head as well there. Trading hits some of the sword. I can't tell what he's got. Has fire on it. Perhaps the Black Knight Great Sword? Did a lot of damage on that L1 there. And the first spin of the L2 also did a whole lot of damage. And, <laughs> and we get lag stabbed. Oh, that's not even Havel's helm, that's the Bell Helm. Bell Helm. That has a nice ring to it. Haha! <laughs> Guy, uh, trying to get a free plunging attack when I spawn here. That was so close. That looked like it didn't hit me, but you know, this is Dark Souls. There's lag all over the place. That's what happens when you chug the Estus. And we're fighting a guy using the Kestus. Got the Dranglick armor on. Hide helm. Look at those phantom hits go. Well, it's not just a Kestis. There's also the Bone Fist. Obviously tell from that kick. I wish there wasn't so much lag. It seems that since the game's been out so long, they just... I don't know if they stop paying attention to it or what. What have we here? Oh! 
well. Alright then. A lot of scumbags as of late. But no matter. I have a feeling I'll be able to out damage this guy pretty severely. I think I was right about that. Alright, this guy has that scythe you get from those skeleton lord guys and he's buffed it with dark it already has dark damage on it I had to spin around after he spun around I'm sorry so the double dark is gonna be really good apparently it also got a buff during that patch when all the weapons got buffed so I'm expecting the take a lot of damage if he can land a good hit on me. <laughs> Throw knives. Oh god. I'm glad his buff wore off. Cause that the helicopter probably would have killed me with the buff. I'm not certain, but it definitely would have hurt a lot. No! I can't believe how much stamina I have. Goodbye, and good game. This guy is dual wielding Dragon Slayer Crescent Axes. And I must say, that is amazing. You don't see the weapon very much to begin with. And you never see anyone dual wield that thing. So I'm just... I'm just glad to see some variety here. Even if he's not doing that much damage, <laughs> it still looks cool, right? I baited him with that spin attack. And we're fighting a guy with Sunlight Blade. This one has the dragon... Chime, sorry. Got a long sword there. Maybe the s dock might just look longer with the buff on. But obviously, <laughs> that's the Zwayhander. He switched there for that parry. Looks like a bandit's knife, or <laughs> a bandit's axe, and a parrying dagger. Trying to parry my double spin there. And here are the stats for anyone who was wondering. Take note that I have 56 endurance. You'll definitely want a lot of stamina if you're going to be dual wielding because it drains a lot of stamina having two weapons like that doing the special attacks. Having the Chlorinthy Ring, like I said before, helps out a lot. As always, this is Moose Torrent, and I'll be back with another video for you guys shortly.